Hi friends, today we'll look at a Linux shell called FISH which stands for Friendly Interactive Shell as an alternative shell to bash in Linux distros. I'm using my Windows 11 host and we'll show how to install and configure FISH on WSL2 running Ubuntu. If you're new to WSL, make sure to watch my video about it. Further, make sure you have the latest Windows Terminal and PowerShell installed. In order to make this easily reproducible, I'll start a fresh installation of Ubuntu on WSL2 and set it as my default distro. After starting the Ubuntu distro inside WSL, we can check our default shell with echo dollar shell. And to list all possible shells that are currently installed, enter cat forward slash etsy forward slash shells. Once you're logged into your Ubuntu shell, run apt update and upgrade first in order to update your repos and upgrade your installed packages. Then install fish simply with apt install fish. You will also need W3M package later in the video so make sure to install that as well with w3m you can browse web pages through the terminal if you're interested in apt as package manager then watch my video where i covered this now that fish is installed we can see it listed if we do cat forward slash s etsy forward slash shells we can open it just by typing fish but let's change our default shell from bash to fish by using the change shell command with the dash s flag followed by the path to fish you'll be prompted to enter your sudo password now reopen your terminal by exiting and running wsl again the ubuntu shell will now by default open using fish right after installing fish everything is already set up Syntax highlighting for errors, misspelled commands and options, mismatched parentheses and quotes. The great thing about FISH is that this is done while typing. Using the manual page data, FISH helps you by pressing the tab key to autocomplete. Simply start typing and hit tab to get suggestions. Inline search history, where you can start typing and then use the up and down arrow keys to select previous commands that started that way. Without a suggestion, it provides feedback based on the content of a dir directory or your history. But it does not support bang bang to sudo previous commands or brace expansion. Instead of brace expansion, you can use numeric sequences. For more information on numeric sequences, access the man page. Normally, in order to customize fish, you can simply run fish underscore config to access the configuration web page. But we need to do some workaround to get this done in WSL. Start by exiting out of the Ubuntu terminal, and once in Windows terminal with PowerShell, enter WSL dash dash shutdown to terminate all running distros and WSL itself. Then start WSL again and run fish underscore config. At the top, you'll see an HTML file path, followed by an error indicating that the file cannot be found. We need to let this process running while we enter a few more commands in the terminal. To do that, we can use control Z to move the process to the background or alternatively you can open a second terminal in WSL with alt shift D. This leaves fish config process running in the foreground which we'll need later. Second terminal is easier. If you send the process to the background enter PS to see a process for Python 3. That's the process for fish config which is now running in the background. Now we need to locate the HTML file in the temp root folder. Under this directory, 
we can find the HTML file that was mentioned previously. Now use W3M to open the HTML file. Here you'll get a local URL. In order to select the URL and copy it, press C key. And then simply select the URL with your mouse. Assuming your terminal is set to copy selections, you should now have the URL copied to your clipboard. Now open your host web browser and paste the URL. In order for the page to load, the fish config process needs to be in the foreground. If you use the second terminal, it should load right away. If you send the process to the background, you need to go back to the terminal, press Q to exit out of W3M, confirm exit, enter PS for the process ID, and enter FG followed by the ID to bring it to the foreground. Now go back to the web page to get the configuration page for fish where you can customize it. After you change something in fish config, you'll get the output shown in the terminal. When you're done, simply close the web page and in the terminal, press return to exit fish config process. The change should be immediately visible. For more information, you can access the documentation by entering help from the fish terminal. If you want to add aliases to fish, then there is no RC file like in bash or zshell. To add your aliases from your home directory open.config and then fish directory, here create a file called config.fish using vim and add all your aliases in here. Reopen your terminal or enter source config.fish to activate your aliases. While you're here, add an alias to reload the config.fish file. Hope you enjoyed this video about fish as an alternative to other Linux shells. And I hope to see you in the next video.